time is running out for Coventry City. The Championship's bottom club need victories, and they need them fast. But they certainly won't be favourites today against promotion-chasing Middlesbrough, even though Tony Mowbray's men are looking to catch up with expectations somewhat after back-to-back -back league defeats. Three points is a must today for Borough if they're to close the five-point gap between themselves and the Championship's top two. And they're the first to press here. Oh, it's going to slip all the way through to McDonald. Well, Joe Murphy was in exactly the right place, and he had to be as well. A perfect opportunity for the visitors to break the deadlock. Plenty to aim at in the middle. Goes towards McDonald. Oh, and Horidison, that's a complete air shot. McDonald! Well, Scott McDonald coming close again, but it's Herman Horidison with an almost calamitous start to his Coventry career. McDonald and Burris starting to bang at the door. Craney's long ball forwards. It's going to fall nicely here to McSheffrey. And he might have expected himself to get something on target there. The first sign of some attacking threat from the Sky Blues. Here's Hoyt. Robson. Nobody making the run into the box yet. Now this could be their opportunity and I think Murphy got a hand to that. He pleads with his defence to give him some more protection because at the moment it's all Burra and we have the goalkeeper to thank. Coventry try the long ball again. It's been the only route forward so far and this could be an opening for them. Here's McSheffrey. It's 1-0. Gary McSheffrey provides the goal that Coventry so desperately need. At the foot of the table, he just needed a breakthrough like this to perhaps spark a turnaround in their fortunes. Sheffrey taking it really well after Nimely had laid it off for him. Perfectly weighted first touch. And a finish with a plump. 1-0 Coventry, just nine minutes to go until the break. Hoyt's ball in. A little trouble for Keogh. Oh, it's a late leg there, left in by Thompson on McSheffrey. And Thompson has already been booked here. And that is the second yellow. Middlesbrough are going to have to play more than half of this match with a man short. Kevin Thompson, he's been cautioned twice before the break. We can have a few arguments. Is Tony Mowbray's side going to face another dent to their promotion challenge? Hoyt, it is physique well, play it back to Bennett, he'll try and dig one from long range and that caused more problems than it first appeared it would for goalkeeper Joe Murphy, perhaps took a little bit of a deflection, Klingon's corner, and that's causing problems and appeals for a penalty here, Matthew Bates has gone piling in but the referee, he looked long and hard but he gives nothing. It's Horidison making the dart or trying to at the far post. Well, what do you make of that? Plenty of arms involved from both players. We haven't seen the same bite from Borough since going down to ten men in an attacking sense. Could they change that here? Robson trying from long range. Not too far away. Joe Murphy was significantly worried. Full stretch, but comfortably wide. McSheffrey for Coventry. Searching for a way to double their lead. He's trying to get round and get away from the attentions of Reese Williams. Dangerously close to the area and he will be cautioned as well. And there's just some contact here between the legs of both players and McSheffrey clipping the back of his own calf. Whipped in fiercely that. And it's not cleared either. Falls down to Nimely and it's going all the way. Did that cross the line? Goal given! And it couldn't have been anybody else but Alex Nimely, the man who spent the first half of the season on loan with Borough, failed to get on the score sheet at all with them. 57 minutes into his Coventry debut, he makes it 2-0 to the home side. The protestations went up from Borough, but all appeals are futile. 
failed to clear it at the first attempt and that cost them. Alex Nimley's clever header towards goal. Impossible to tell. Coventry's tail certainly up now, sniffing around for a third goal if they can possibly find one. Nimely using his strength well. Releases Bell. Oh, and Bates has put it into his own net. It's going from bad to worse for Middlesbrough. Andy Thorne can barely believe his luck. Matthew Bates scoring in his own net with just 26 minutes to go. Clive Platts was the man putting on the pressure at the near stick. May have got a touch, but it was definitely Bates who redirected it beyond Danny Coyne. And in for Coventry's third goal. Middlesbrough, their promotion-chasing aspirations are being hit. Haroon. What can Borough find here? 3-0 down, but they're not losing hope. Here's Emness. Oh, and that's diverted in. Should Murphy have done better? Scott McDonald won't care. It's a great response from Middlesbrough just two minutes after going 3-0 down. They've given themselves a flicker of hope here. The endeavour from Emness. And it's McDonald in the right spot again. He threatened in the first half twice significantly. But Murphy could do little about that one. And he may be disappointed about it. Coventry 3, Borough 1. Time really running out for Middlesbrough. Coventry though, dreaming of a fourth. And could they get one here? Bell's long ball is going to fall all the way through for Nimley. Well, the crowd rose in anticipation, but Nimley couldn't find the net for the second time this afternoon. Managed to find himself plenty of room, but that's a fine start by Danny Coyne. really have to score now but that's a wasted ball by Arca who goes sliding in with both feet and is that going to be punished it certainly is Julio Arca sees red and Middlesbrough are going to finish the match with nine men it was late and it wasn't pretty on Sammy Klingen it's not going to be his day oh, pushing plenty of men forward leaving a gap or two at the back here's Eastwood the substitute a little support audacious probably sums that one up elation for Andy Thorne and Coventry City they are 3-1 victors over the promotion chasing Middlesbrough who fall to a third straight league defeat